Hey guys, welcome to Skillink. During this lockdown, having no idea on what to do, people started whiling away their time with mobile games. Out of many, a certain battle royale game became pretty famous. Now, you might wonder why we're picking up on this. Well, watch the video until the very end to know the reason. In the game, in order to survive from other players trying to kill you, you would have often tried to get your hands on bulletproof vests, right? There are three levels of vests in the game. As the vest level increases, the less the damage we take. Actually, this concept is inspired from real-world scenarios. For example, the police force, high-profile citizen, and bodyguards wear soft vests, whereas hard plate reinforced vests are worn by combat soldiers, police tactical units, and hostage rescue teams. So, based upon the application, the safety level of the vests vary. The basic idea behind a bulletproof vest is to absorb the impact and reduce or stop its penetration into the body. But before using it, the vest needs to be tested, right? But testing each and every vest is not possible. For example, MKU is an Indian company that manufactures protection equipment for over 20 lakh soldiers. So it's close to impossible to test each and every equipment. The best solution for this must be a simulation. By analyzing the CAD model, we can get the best results. For performing this, we need finite element analysis. Commonly known as FEA, it's a simulation of physical phenomenon using various mathematical techniques. The technique is referred to as finite element method. The algorithms of FEA are integrated with simulation softwares where the engineers use FEM to reduce the number of physical prototypes and run virtual experiments. So if you're an engineering graduate or currently pursuing engineering and aspire to work in the CAE domain, we at Skilling provide a course favoring your interest called Hypermesh for FEA Plastic and Sheet Metal Applications. Usually, the workflow in computer-aided engineering would be pre-processing, solving, and post-processing. Since it's best to take step one at a time, this course just focuses on the pre-processing phase. Actually, this course is a doorway program to the world of FEA. So, as the course name suggests, the software that the students get to learn is Hypermesh. Basically, Hypermesh is a finite element preprocessor software that can manage complex models. The next question that would arise is, who can take up this course? Well, the course is apt for students who are pursuing their engineering in aeronautical, automotive, or mechanical engineering domain. Even freshers who have just graduated from college and professionals who are working in the quality production or manufacturing domain can take up this course. Now, let's talk about what you will learn during this course period. So, this course is basically split into 12 modules and the course duration will be 3 months. During the course period, you will learn about geometry cleanup, one-dimensional meshing, two-dimensional meshing or also called shell meshing, 3D meshing or solid meshing, and the use of connectors and morphing. Further, the course will provide an overview of the hyper mesh tools, which will come in handy with many domains like FEA, MBD, and CFD. Additionally, you also get to work on two projects. The first one would be on the door panels and the second one on a tire component. During the course, if you have doubts or are stuck in between, you need not worry. We have a technical support team who will guide the students throughout the entire course. You can get your doubts clear through any medium which is comfortable to you. It can be through mail or phone calls, messages, or even through video calls. So why are you waiting? We've dropped the link for the course on the description below. Do check them out and contact the number given on the website to get a demo for the course. So that's it for this video, guys. See you in the next one. Until then, bye.